To find out Moorabbin Airport's inbound procedure, we can have a look onto the URSA. When preparing for the inbound into Moorabbin, as Moorabbin is a class Delta aerodrome, a clearance is required prior to re-entering the controlled airspace. To get into Moorabbin's airspace, firstly track to the designated inbound points. They are located around the airport for traffic inbound from different directions. When inbound from a training area, the two most frequently used inbound points are Karam and GMH. Karam is the river inlet of Patterson River, which is along the coast. GMH is one of the warehouses in the Dandenong region. It stands out from the other warehouses because of the black sawtooth shaped roof with some white water tanks on top. The way to locate GMH, firstly, look for those white warehouses in a square shaped pattern. To the northeastern side of the square shaped pattern warehouses, you will find a smaller rectangular group of warehouses. Those two groups of warehouses are divided by a main highway, and to the west of the highway is GMH. The other way to locate GMH is to look for the shaded area to the southeastern side of all the white warehouses. The shaded area is like an apex pointing towards GMH. There are some approach checks to be done prior to those inbound points in preparation for the inbound procedure. These checks can be called the HARTS check. H A R T S. H height. We have to be at 1,500 feet at those inbound points. A. Atis. Prior to arriving at those inbound points, we have to obtain the latest ATIS information. R. Radio. The radio frequency depends on which inbound point we are going to call inbound. If we are inbound via Karam, we will be arriving from the west. And because of that, the correct frequency would be 123.0. If coming in from GMH, we'll be arriving from the east, and the frequency would be 118.1. .1. So please confirm that we are on the correct frequency before making a transmission over the radio. T for transponder. When re-entering class Delta airspace, please change the transponder code from 1200 to 3000. S. Set runway heading. Depending on the active runway that we have obtained from the ATIS, please set the corresponding heading on the HSI. If it is runway 17, set 164. Runway 35, set 344. If it is runway 13, set 130. And runway 31, set 310. After the inbound checks, it might not be a bad idea to conduct an inbound briefing. The briefing includes the expected circuit joining instructions and the runway in use. So when we receive the actual instructions, we'll be prepared for the read back. After the inbound briefing, we can keep tracking towards one of the inbound points. Assuming the wind is coming from the south, the runway in use will be runway 17. When inbound from Karam, we will be using runway 17 right. So we can expect to be asked to join downwind for 17 right from the south. When we are overhead Karam, we'll be making a radio call to request for clearance for inbound into Moorabbin. Moorabbin Tower, X-ray Papa -pa -pa Diamond, overhead Karam, 1500. Information Oscar, inbound. The most likely readback from the tower would be X-ray Papa -pa -pa, Moorabbin Tower, join downwind runway 17 right. We can then read back, join downwind runway 17 right, X-ray Papa. -pa -pa. After that, keep flying towards Moorabbin and set up the aircraft for a downwind join. According to the URSA inbound procedure of Moorabbin, the entry altitude of Moorabbin class delta airspace is at 1000 feet. So start to work your way down from 1500 feet to 1000 feet, and this has to be done prior to 3 nautical miles of Moorabbin. The outbound traffic of 17 right will be maintaining over land. So during the downwind join of 17 right, we must maintain overwater until established onto downwind to maintain separation with the outbound traffic. And that is why I would suggest after passing Karam, track to the west of Mordialic PR to ensure there are sufficient separation with the outbound traffic. After establishing on downwind, make a downwind call. X-ray papa -pa -pa, downwind full stop. Tower will acknowledge our radio call and give us any traffic information. 
if there is no traffic in front of us, they will say X-ray pa 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 number one, which means we are number one to land. So we'll keep flying on downwind, conduct a normal circuit on base and final, and that is how we inbound to Moorabbin from the south via Cairn. If the wind is from the north, it is very likely that runway 35 will be the active runway. When inbound from Karim, the most likely joining instructions would be to join final onto runway 35 left. Keep maintaining over water until intersecting the extended runway center line. Then follow the runway center line to join a long final for runway 35 left. If the wind is coming from the northwest direction, runway 31 will be in use. When inbound from Karim, after the inbound radial call, descend to a thousand feet. The most common circuit joining instruction would be to join oblique base for runway 31 left. If the wind is coming from the southeast, runway 13 would be in use. When inbound from Karim, tower may instruct to join oblique downwind for 13 right. Please start descending to a thousand feet. Initially, fly towards Woodland Golf Course. Then fly along Nepian Highway, and that will be approximately the downwind spacing. When joining downwind, make a downwind call and the pre-landing checks, and proceed to base, final, and a normal landing. When the wind is coming from the south, and inbound from GMH, the most likely runway to be used will be runway 17 left. The most likely circuit joining instructions would be to track via Sandown Racecourse and to join base for runway 17 left. Let me demonstrate an inbound call at GMH. Please note that the inbound radial frequency is 118.1. Moorabbin Tower, X-ray Papa Papa Diamond at GMH 1500, Information Oscar, inbound. The common reply from the tower is... X-ray Papa Papa Moorabbin Tower, join base, runway 17 left, report at Sandown. We have to read back, join base, runway 17 left, X-ray Papa Papa. We can now start to descend to 1000 feet, and start trekking to Sandown Racecourse. When overhead Sandown, please report to Tower, X-ray Papa Papa Sandown. Tower will then give us traffic information if there is any traffic in the circuit. If there is none, tower will say X-ray Papa Papa number 1. From send down, join the circuit, fly a normal base and final leg, and that is how we approach and land from GMH onto 17 left. If the wind is coming from the north, the most common runway to be used when inbound from GMH is runway 35 right. The radial call is slightly different, so the readback from the tower can be slightly different as well. After the inbound call, tower may say, X-ray pa 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 pa, Robin tower, join base, runway 35 right, report at Park Mall. We will have to read back, join base, runway 35 right, X-ray pa 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 pa. Afterwards, start descending to 1000 feet and track towards Park Mall. From GMH, track west, track along this highway. To the north of the highway, you will be able to find an irregular shaped building that is in the middle of the residential area. And that is Parkmore Shopping Center. And when fly up in Parkmore, report to Tower saying X-ray pa 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 Parkmore. Tower is going to give us relevant traffic information if there is any. We will then proceed to join the circuit and conduct a landing. If the wind is blowing from the northwest, the most likely runway in use when coming in from GMH would be runway 31 right. This inbound procedure is somewhat similar with 35 right. Tower will be instructing us to join the oblique base for runway 31 right. Initially, track towards Parkmoor and report at Parkmoor if instructed. After passing Parkmoor, expect to turn earlier on the final of runway 31 right as compared to 35 right. If the wind is coming from the southeast direction, the most likely runway in use would be runway 13 left. The most common procedure for 1-3 left would be to track to and report at Park Mall. And make a right turn to join downwind for 1-3 left and proceed as a normal circuit. Assume we're about to go inbound into Moorabbin and we've just made a radio call at Karim or GMH. However, 
at Moravian, there are plenty of traffic and the entire airspace is very congested. What we can expect from the tower can be very different than the normally expected instructions. Assuming the wind is coming from the north, and runway 35 left is in use, tower may tell us to maintain 1,500 feet joint upwind of runway 35 left. This is also known as an upwind join. The flight path on that upwind join is exactly the same as a normal final join. The main difference is that we do not descend to 1,000 feet after carom, but maintain flying at 1,500 feet and fly the normal circuit over the runway of 35 left. What we can expect is when over the runway or on upwind, tail will be giving us additional instructions and a clearance. Tail may say clear visual approach, join downwind runway 35 left. Because there is a clearance, so we are required to read back in full. So we would say clear visual approach, join downwind runway 35 left, x-ray pa 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 pa. So we should start descending to a thousand feet and initiate a left turn to join downwind and conduct a normal circuit and landing. Assuming now we're inbound from GMH and the eastern circuit is very congested, what tower may instruct us to do is an overfly procedure. Tower may say maintain 1500, overfly the field. When overhead contact tower 123.0, we'd have to read back in full. Maintain 1,500 feet, track overhead the field when overhead contact tower 123.0, x-ray pa pa pa. We'll keep monitoring 118.1 and track directly over the middle of the Moravian airport. When overhead the airfield, switch frequency to 123.0 and let them know that we are overhead. So we'll be saying Moravian tower, x-ray pa 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 pa, overhead at 1,500. Tower would most likely say clear visual approach, join downwind, runway 35 left. And because there's a clearance, we'll have to read back in full and say clear visual approach, join downwind, runway 35 left, x ray pa 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 pa. Descend from 1500 to 1000 and join downwind 35 left and proceed to land. It is now the time for threat and error management. So what are some of the threats and errors that we have to be aware of when conducting the inbound procedure into Moravian? One of the most common error is people forget to conduct the pre-landing checks. The reason being is that pre-landing checks are normally conducted on downwind, and in some particular approaches, downwind may not be flown, and the pilot may not be prompted to conduct the pre-landing checks, as they associated the pre-landing checks with downwind. For example, when inbound from Karim for runway 35 left, will be joining final. For runway 31 left will be an oblique base. Inbound from GMH join 35 right or 17 left will be a base join. In those circumstances, it can be easier to forget to conduct a pre-landing checks. The way to manage this error is to firstly acknowledge that this can happen to any one of us, and secondly, to conduct not only the pre-landing checks, but also the final checks to be an extra safeguard. Another common mistake is the frequency selection at different inbound points, such as Karam or GMH. For example, if we tracked outbound from the western circuit, the frequency would have been 123.0. However, if we intended to come inbound via the GMH, which is the eastern circuit, the frequency would have been 118.1. So please be mindful of the correct frequency before making the radio call. On the other hand, Moravian's airport runway layout can be very confusing, so please set the runway heading on the heading bug to improve our situational awareness to minimize the chances of lining up on the wrong runway. The other common error that may occur to us is failing to descend to the appropriate entry altitude, which is 1000 feet. It can be quite dangerous as the outbound traffic could be in the vicinity and at the same level. Please remember that unless ATC has instructed you to maintain 1,500 feet, we have to descend to 1,000 feet to maintain separation with the outbound aircraft. This is especially important when joining downwind for runway 17 right. Not only do we have to be at 1,000 feet to join downwind into the western circuit, but also we have to maintain overwater for the entire duration, because the outbound traffic will be maintaining overland to remain clear of conflict. And that is it for today guys, thank you for watching, if you have any questions please feel free to leave a comment down below, and don't forget to give us a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel, also don't forget to follow us on social media such as Facebook and Instagram, I'll see you guys next time, cheers.